Hi everyone, okay so I'm sure you've seen from the title of this video and the thumbnail that it is called Anyone Can Build a Camper. So let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, I want to say hi to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> uh, it's mainly about me converting camper vans and traveling in them. This is my second attempt at a camper van conversion in the same van. The first one I built, when I started, I was completely unskilled at anything. <laughs> like anything, I couldn't build anything. So I did that, it was quite quick and it's quite cheaply done. Uh, and I went traveling around Europe for three weeks in it. So if you want to check out my previous videos, go back and do them. The quality is not great because I was only fairly new to YouTube at that point. Since then, I got home from that trip, wasn't entirely happy, so I ripped it all out and I started again on my second conversion. Having spent a year on YouTube picking up tips, uh, seeing a lot of other conversions on YouTube, I yeah, so I had a lot of ideas for this conversion. So, let's get into this video. As you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, this video is going to be all about anyone can build a camper van. This is uh, this is something I really believe and a lot of people are scared to even try, which is really sad. I get a lot of messages from people saying, I wish I had the guts to just try it. And you absolutely should. You really can do it. I really believe it. Anyone can do it. It might not be showroom finish, but, but what does that matter? With each, each time you saw, with each time you drill a hole, with each time you screw something to something else, you get better. I am I'm becoming quite proud of what I'm making so far. Sometimes I, I sit here on this sofa and I'm looking around and I'm thinking, I've made everything in here. I've, I've built everything. I've screwed everything. I've made... Just, you know, you get quite proud of it, even though it's not showroom finish. And this one won't be. My first one certainly wasn't. The next one will be better, and the next one will be better still, so anyone can do it. There will probably be people here watching that don't like my van, don't think I should even be giving out pointers, but uh, I think I can. I think I am qualified to give out a few pointers now. Like I say, it's not showroom finish, it's not Greg Virgo finish, but it is It's something that I'm quite proud of, and I think as an unskilled guy, I could. I, I feel that I should be quite proud of what I've, I've done. I thought I'd make a little video to say that don't be scared to try. You don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on expensive tools, okay? Here are the tools that I suggest you need. And these are all you need, okay? Okay, so here they are. Must have an electric screwdriver. Battery powered is great if you don't have uh, access to electricity. Like I can't park next to my house, so I've, I bought these so I could work anywhere. Brilliant, must have. I bought this from B&Q. It's part of their Makita, B&Q's Makita set. They're not actually Makita. I got a little bit scammed by that, but never mind. It works brilliantly. I bought this as well. This is the jigsaw that came with it. They came as a kit. About a hundred quid or something. It wasn't that wasn't that much money, but yes, you need need these. Definitely need an electric screwdriver and a jigsaw. A handsaw is also handy. Need a handsaw. This was a kit from B and Q. It's a square and an adjustable bevel. Square is very handy. These are very good for measuring the angle of like when you build your units against the curvy wall of the van. They just always come in handy. I've used that a fair bit. Obviously, need a tape measure. Now these next things, you definitely, definitely need to get these, okay? I didn't get them for the longest time. Clamps. So, so need to get clamps. 
Just, I just don't know what I was doing. If you haven't got these, you must get them. You just, you need them. You need them in your life. Never mind for the van. They're just so handy for anything. Honestly, that they are all the tools you need to build a camper van, other than pencils and screws and drill bits for the drill. But that, you can, anyone can do it. Really, you can do it. There is a huge amount of knowledge online on YouTube. YouTube is just amazing. I'm still a YouTube learner. I. <laughs> I'm not going to say I've done this entirely without aid because YouTube is amazing. YouTube is like a person who has no, who has experience and knowledge. So yeah, together with YouTube and everybody that's posted videos on building camper vans, that's how I've managed to build build what I've, I've made. You don't have to spend the earth on a conversion. I certainly didn't for my first conversion and it, I had a great time going away in it and I had a great time making it. The cost of the van you're looking at, what was mine? Mine was 1900, two grand for my van. And I've probably spent, I've probably spent that on it again. So it's, it's, but it's not like all at once. You have to buy the van price all at once. But then I worked for a little bit, saved for something. All right, this week I can now buy, you know, a screwdriver. Next week I can now buy, you know, some wood. I can buy some insulation now, you know, I saved bought what I could when I could. That's just why it's taken me a year because I've only been working evenings and weekends, but how good is that? You don't have to you don't have to do it all at once. You can sleep on a mattress in an, on the floor in an empty van for a little while. If I can help in any way, message me. I will give you some tips as far as what I can suggest. But yeah, YouTube it. Just YouTube it. It's amazing. I'm not sponsored by YouTube or anything. <laughs> Recently, I have kindly been given a chop saw. Now, since I've had the chop saw, I've built the wardrobe and the sofa. Had I had it from the beginning, I would have used it throughout the build, but you don't need it. Up until that point, I've been using a handsaw and a jigsaw to do all my cuts. So they, were, they weren't perfectly straight. So now that I've got a chop saw, I can do nice straight cuts and I can angle it so I can do the 45 degrees cuts for the mitres. Now that is next level. You don't need that. That is the next level. Okay, so they're the tools that I suggest that you get. Start off with those. Like I say, if you've got it, a chop saw becomes very, very handy, but you don't need it. You don't have to have it. I've built everything in here, minus the wardrobe and sofa, without it. A lot of I don't have a lot of expensive tools. What I have is what I have, and I've managed to build... I've managed to build a little home on wheels with what I've got. So if I can do it, you definitely can. So if you're if you're thinking about trying it, just do it. Absolutely just do it. You don't have to spend a huge amount of money on it. You can just go to IKEA, you can go to cheap places and buy furniture for your van. You don't it can be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be this showroom finished, these amazing, rustic, beautiful pieces of art that people can create. Anybody can do it. And once you've done one, you'll want to do another. And you'll want to do another and you're 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 skill level and your progression will just get it will just go up and up and you'll become you'll eventually be quite proud of yourself so do it and if i can help in any way send me a message put it in the comments below my email is down below you can i will give out as much advice as i can offer okay and i reply to every single comment i'm wondering i'm not hugely skilled but i have made myself a van that i'm quite chuffed with so I'm wondering if anybody would like a hand, if anyone would like me to come to theirs and give them a hand building the camper van, working on particular jobs. You never know, I thought maybe I'll ask. Maybe I'll just pick this video, this uh, question to you guys. I enjoy it so much and I wish I could do it for a job. I wish I could learn and get be learn more skills and get better at it. So yeah, I really wish I could do this for a job. Let me know if you want a hand building something and you're not like ridiculously far. I suppose it doesn't really matter how far you are because I've got a camper van. Let me know. Let me know if you, if you need a hand. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this little video. Thank you to all my new subscribers again and thank you to everybody that has stuck with me. I really appreciate it. We're approaching 3,000 subscribers now and I'm really chuffed. Really over the moon with it and I really enjoy the hobby and interacting with all of you just makes it so much worth, so worthwhile. So until the next video, see you soon.